So the cannon was a, a captured uh, German gun, a howitzer, and it was quite large, and it had been brought to Canada by the Canadian Army. And in 1939, they offered uh, any veterans group that wanted one uh, the opportunity to take it from Varsity Stadium. So the members of the 67th Battery uh, dragged it up. We actually have a photo <laughs> that was taken by the Toronto Telegram at the time, and they dragged it up here. And uh, there was a big sign that said, uh, this gun was won from the Hun. <laughs> and uh, they uh, pl placed it uh, on our lawn overlooking the lake, and uh, they apparently used to fire it periodically. And we we're told <laughs> that Lake Sturgeon has shells at the bottom because of the, uh, the shenanigans of these guys. <laughs> uh, we had donated the gun to the, uh, to the Royal uh, Artillery Museum, Royal Canadian Artillery Museum in Manitoba. And uh, the celebration we had included a band, it included many military people. There were 40 members in the band. And uh, about 150 of our neighbors came by. They knew this was going to take place. And we had uh, about 100 friends from, from Toronto where we live. It was a gala event, and it really was a dignified departure. The Chateau de la Haye was named after the Canadian headquarters in France in World War I by the survivors from the 67th Varsity Battalion, who were a group of students who uh, enlisted en masse for the First War. And when they returned, they... Uh, they bought a cottage, they named it after the headquarters in France, and this is it. They would come uh, Christmas and in the summer, and they would come from all over Canada and even the United States, and uh, it was their way of keeping in touch and bonding. They fished, they swam, they drank, they ate, they drank, they, and they, they and drank they, and they, they swam. And they basically, you know, kept in touch with each other. Well, there were a lot of... Uh, 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 bayonets and helmets, captured helmets, German helmets. A lot of photographs, panoramic uh, of course, photographs. Like, of course, all the training photos that they had, big panoramic uh, horseback, maybe 80 horses, and, uh, and all the men in formation. Maps, there were flags, there were uh, newspaper headlines uh, that they had framed, and all of these we had given to the to the uh, Soldier Tower uh, Museum at the University of Toronto. And of course, the biggest uh, memorabilia was the cannon, which uh, up until uh, July 6th of this year was was there for 80 years. And this is kids, exactly where it was. Kids used to uh, climb on it all of the big, where the garbage people would come by, they'd say, well, we're running late, we're only at the cannon. 